Hi there, Aquarius. How you doing? It's September 21st, and I'm out, Roslyn. Thanks for coming back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you're taking advantage of this new moon energy. Uh, it's a beautiful time for you to be manifesting, Aquarius. It doesn't matter if you're going through something kind of yucky in your love life, <laughs> like a love triangle. You can start manifesting now all the way through to the full moon to get things going for you in the right direction. Uh, the full moon is coming in about four days, and it's going to be a full moon in Aries. So it's a good time to take direction and action and to start communicating even more and more in your relationship. Okay, uh, What I do is, if you don't know me by now, or if you have not subscribed to the channel, I am... I'm Rosalind and I'm shamanically trained as a healer and tarot reader, but not only tarot, I do a lot of root work, candle magic, road opening, banishing and cleansing for issues that may be existing in the home. Pretty deep level sometimes and our ancestors and our guides they help us to go ahead and break through and that's what I like to do with my clients I like to help them to break through and have these things going for themselves in their love life in their relationships that they didn't really think they were going to be able to get through before you know I would like to tell you that I developed the love triangle readings because my clients were coming to me over and over with third party issues, the other woman, the other man, you know, and usually that all happens because not only do we need a wake-up call in our relationship, we need a wake-up call in our life as well. So Aquarius, I'm inviting you to get comfortable and pay attention to your reading. And I wanted to tell you also, if you do happen to see the video skip, it's usually because I work with my spirit guides and I work with a lot of ancestral energy. And sometimes what okay Aquarius <laughs> I'm not speaking to myself it's really my uh, guides and ancestors I work with to help with these readings okay let's see here right now Aquarius this is the relationship energy that you're currently in okay so what's really happening here uh, it seems that your relationship right now it's like it's under attack okay um, when I look at this, yeah, okay, place in the next card. When I look at this, Aquarius, it looks like there's a huge burden happening in your relationship. You've been together for a while, okay, because that page of pentacles is crossing you. So what's happening is there's burdens, and they could be related to home, income, work, you know, the daily kind of stressors that really get to us, and then... We don't even. Because we're so busy with this day to day grind with the kids, with work, a schedule, you know, things we have to keep. Brain your energy. I'm also being told that this has just become so tedious and that one or both of you Aquarius has become, yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing in my ear clear audiently, that it's like it's become mundane. You become bored, you become drained. You know, this this ten of wands, it's like you're carrying such a burden. You see that? He's carrying way, way too much on him. It doesn't mean that there's it doesn't mean that there's the male that's carrying this energy. You know, this could be this could be, you know, the female. 
you know, because both energies, we both carry both male and female. We both carry masculine and feminine energy. So basically, this is about, it really seems to be about money. It really does. It seems like one of you may not be doing as much as, as the other partner because one of you is so fussy. And you see this Ace of Pentacles is here too with the Page of Pentacles. So it's definitely about money, the things that we need to make us feel comfortable. One of the earthly things we need to make us feel comfortable, Aquarius, is our relationships. Okay, that is one of the creature comforts we have here in our lifetime. Um, it almost looks like Aquarius along with this money issue, one of you is ready to make a new start, a brand new beginning. So possibly some of the problems you're having in your relationship that could lead to one of you straying, Aquarius, is the whole issue of, I need to start over. I need another job. I need another kind of lifestyle. I need another career. Um, this is just boring me. And you know, a lot of Aquarius, they do have different types of thinking. They have new age thinking. Not only that, Aquarius is like to be able to zero in on different things, different people, and find out how they can heal it. You know, Aquarius is the sign of the water bearer where that energy, when they're aligned and they're in balance, they're really having good balance, they can really heal. They can help people to heal. I've I've witnessed that with Aquarius in my own life. Um, so it looks one of you is possibly feeling, you know, the effects of all of that burden. One of you could definitely be a fire sign, okay? You really could be because Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, because you've got Queen of Wands here on the foundation, and we've got uh, the Wands here, okay? So one of you could be a fire fire sign. I'm not sure which one is watching, if you're cross-watching, etc., and what we have here in the position of immediate past is the justice card. Um, I'm hearing that one of you with this justice card, it's like one of you are being brought to justice. One of you is being blamed for a problem that happened. Okay, and that's your immediate past. So that's a major arcana. That's a lot of energy coming with blame. You know, it's like I want to see, you know, that you get what you deserve. It's almost like one of you is so angry. And then along with that, we have crowning you. In this relationship, the mental aspect is the Four of Cups, being checked out, being depressed. You know, and it's really to do with emotions. I'm not sure if you have a water sign made Aquarius, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because that is the Cups energy. But however, this is a lot of uh, energy to do with you know, I've emotionally been depleted. I'm depressed now. I'm checked out. You know, I'm not really mentally or energetically grounded in this relationship anymore. I've also seen uh, in the immediate future over here, okay, you've got something to look forward to here. Is this possibly, you know, the other person, the other woman, the other man making the mate happy? You know, are you experiencing this bliss or are they experiencing this with someone else? Because this is a lot of bliss and happiness with this Nine of Cups, okay? Possibly it could just be that one of you are a water sign, but I'm just telling you honestly that, you know, that Nine of Cups energy is about celebrating and being happy together. And possibly they're seeking that in their other woman, the fifth wheel, the other man, the third wheel. Okay, going further, I can see that one of you with the emperor energy there, one of you could be an Aries, but one of you has this fortitude. You have this passion, you have this fire, this wands energy where you want to create and keep going and keep moving. Uh, there's the chariot right underneath, which could be you know, it could be just the, the momentum, the feeling that you want to keep going, keep exploring, keep moving, possibly even Aquarius move residences, okay? Because the chariot actually brings that much energy about moving, like changing residence. Um, <clears throat> beneath that there, we have the the uh, empress, okay? So this, this energy of the empress is all about a woman's energy, like a divine feminine 
She's in tune with her intuitive ability. She's in tune with uh, her emotions, the moon, abundance. Sometimes it's to do with being pregnant. Okay, that's how much fertility, abundance, nurturing, uh, intuition she can bring. You know, that energy, that flow, you know, that, that, that yin and yang feeling that you need to have in the relationship. Or it could be the feeling of her being just so, so nurturing and caring and already having children or possibly being pregnant. Okay, the king of pentacles right beneath her, that is about someone, a male, right, a male energy even if it's not an actual male, the male energy, um, having maturity being like 40 plus, okay? And he already has his wealth. He has all the creature comforts. It's the energy of being well cared for and not worrying about money at all. Just everything that has to do with creature comforts, you know, the security of a relationship, the security of the job you want, the security of home. Now, I'm looking here at the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. That's a lot of Earth energy, Aquarius. Is your mate uh, one of the Earth signs? Virgo, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, you know, is it one of those signs? Because that energy is very heavy in this reading as well. And then we topped out with the King of Pentacles there. So possibly, it really seems, Aquarius, that the energy of creature comforts, home, day-to-day -day living, that could be an issue here because it's popping up throughout the reading. Um, also, this justice card in the immediate past, you know, it's like one of you feels, yeah, I keep hearing it. It's like you, one of you wants to blame the other person. And this Four of Cups energy here being checked out completely, you know, as far as emotions, things just not making you happy anymore. And that's crowning the reading. So let's go a little bit further here. What is going on with the other person, the other woman, the other man, the third wheel, the fifth wheel? Let's see what's going on. Because there has to be more going on than what the other person may even know about it, you know? Because if you're experiencing the trauma of another woman, another man involved in your relationship, it can definitely feel like, you know, you're on the outside. Like you're not really even truly there in your relationship. You know, it's like another person is truly there. Okay. So on the bottom of the deck here of the Gilded Tarot, we have the Seven of Cups. So it's really putting a little bit of energy on multiple people multiple thoughts, having dreams of pie in the sky, like everything you look at is so good and you can't make up your mind. So possibly the person who has a stray, who has went astray in this relationship is thinking of that, you know? They're thinking that possibly by them straying and looking another way that it's really going to be, you know, so much better on the other side. You see what I'm saying? So let's align to the energy and find out what's going on. What's going on in this third party relationship? The other woman, the other man. What's going on here? Aquarius, love triangle. What's going on with the other person? The other woman, the other man. Okay, well there's my priestess. And she works a lot with the moon energy, which means this could be someone who is very mysterious or it could mean that you're not going to have the whole entire picture right now Aquarius because it works so much with the moon energy the moon is about yet to be seen okay here we have the Queen of Cups a lot of that water energy coming back in again this could be someone that they're seeing that is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or they could be very giving, very loving, very intuitive, very nurturing, because you've got the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups together. Okay, and this is speaking a lot for this third-party relationship. Okay, Aquarius, this is almost like confirmation that your partner may be cheating. Okay, and I hate to say it that way, but it really is because it's all about deceit and deception, the Seven of Swords. It's about someone lying, someone cheating, someone doing things, and they don't want to get caught. Okay, and the next card here is the Three of Swords. This is 
this is really a lot of confirmation. This is the card for third party relationships. It's the card for a third person being involved in your heart is broken. It's like you've been stabbed in the heart. And here the next card is the Two of Wands, Aquarius. So possibly your partner is in fact having this relationship with someone else, but they may also have some indecision. They don't really know which one of you to choose, Aquarius. Two of Wands, they, they haven't picked this road yet, this relationship yet that they know that they want to be in. Okay, On the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who is eager to offer love. They're eager to offer love. They want to make an offer of love, a proposal of love. Sometimes that can indicate uh, you know, like someone's going to ask for a marriage, like an actual proposal, okay, this Knight of Cups energy, okay, so with that being here on the bottom of the deck after I shuffle to find out more about the third party, it could really indicate that the partner is leaning towards, you know, this other person, this other woman, this other man, the fifth wheel, He's he may be or she may be just trying to decide, what to do, when to do it, when to leave. You know, we've got three of swords confirming it. We've got the seven of swords that they're not fully revealing their intentions to you, Aquarius. Okay, or I don't know who's cross-watching, but it looks like there's some communication that needs to come forward. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like it needs to come forward. That way, um, decisions can be made. If the other person speaks their truth and they're not hiding and sneaking, okay? Speaking the truth and then you'll be able to make up your mind as well, you know? And then we can stop with all this blaming and trying to bring the other person to justice. However, this card can also represent divorce, you know, law, legal things like that, okay? So Aquarius, I hope I was able to give you some insight, you know, on what's happening, possibly happening. I know it won't hit 100%, but possibly give you a little bit of guidance. If you would like to um, have your own personal love triangle reading, you can get in touch with me in the information below in the description box, Aquarius. And you take care. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye. Blessed be.